Bubble.io has become a powerhouse for creating fully functional web apps without any coding skills, and mastering its features can significantly improve your user's experience. One such feature you should consider learning about is adding tooltips to your apps. In this mini tutorial, I'll teach you how to create and customize tooltips to guide your users and enhance your user experience. Though, before we get started, it's worth remembering that an action on hover doesn't mean anything in mobile and tablet devices. There is no such thing as hover unless your user is basically using a mouse. So a very quick example is I've got a button here. And if I click on preview, uh, we'll see that when I put my mouse over it, nothing happens apart from the, the background transitions on the button. Um, but what if I wanted to give my users a, an additional prompt if they hovered over it? So the button says click me, but what if for some reason it said don't click me? So I'm using tool tips from a, that take advantage of, of the web browser, uh, detecting that there's a tool tip there and displaying it below the mouse. And it doesn't look very good, but it's very important. The button's not such a great example, but um, I don't know about you, but I sometimes find myself in an application, in, in a web app, and um, uh, I see a button uh, that is just an icon. And I'm thinking, well, what does that do? Uh, I, I don't know, and, and if I click it, will, it, will something disastrous happen to my account? Um, so tooltips can be very useful for prompting the user into and explaining what's going on when they hover over a button. So I don't know why this might be useful uh, in your SaaS app, but we, we could have a tooltip on here called um, raise the flag. And if we click on preview, a user can then, if they're not sure what the button does, they can hover over it and they get the prompt. Uh, the tooltip raise the flag, but it's not very attractive. Let me show you how to use uh, a tooltip plugin. The one we're using is uh, Air Tooltip by Zero Code. Uh, and so I've, I've gone into the plugin directory. I've installed this plugin um, as of recording. It's completely free. Um, and uh, I'm going to add in an element onto the page. As is the case with many bubble uh, plugins, if I want um, something loaded in on the page, something visual, I have to add in the element um, somewhere on my page structure. I mean, I can hide it right out of the way, um, but it has to be there in order to load in the right script. I can then go on to uh, my element and I'm going to delete the browser tooltip and add in an ID attribute. And so I shall call this one flag. And then if I find my tooltip again, uh, I'll say that the trigger is going to be when the mouse goes over the flag uh, and the uh, target where the tooltip is located is also going to be the same element. And so I can give it a title, raise the flag, and I can say uh, click this button to uh, raise the flag. Let's have a look and see what that gives us out of the box. Okay, so now I'm getting a bit more of an attractive uh, tooltip. Um, I'm gonna make a few quick changes to that. I mean, there are loads of options here that you can customize. Uh, I'm gonna say target mouse, move with mouse. Uh, I'm gonna give it an effect of uh, fade out and an effect of fade in. There we get the, the effect and also now we get it following the mouse. Obviously, you'll need to choose something that fits with the, um, the design of your app, uh, something that is actually gonna be helpful to your users. Um, and lastly, just remember that anything that happens on hover is not gonna happen for someone on their phone or on their iPad. Um, yeah, so don't uh, exclude information from users um, just because they aren't using a mouse, especially if you are making your app to be fully responsive in its design for desktop, tablet, and mobile users. Just bear that in mind.